YouTube, what is going on? Chris with Journals, Comics and Pop Culture. I got a fun video today, guys. I know you're just like kind of looking at a desktop with some random stuff here. But <laughs> I'm going to show you guys a couple comparisons that I think is really, really uh, fun to kind of uh, uh, look at and compare. So a comparison video today. Um, I've touched on this recently, recently. When I did a video about uh, two months ago discussing the modern reprints that we are seeing from DC and Marvel. But today, I'm not talking about reprints. I'm talking about actual issues, okay? And I have a Marvel book and a DC book. And today, we're going to talk about paper. Yes, we are going to talk about the paper being used in the modern books right now. So, for the last, let's see, we're in 2000, for the last maybe 20, I want to say at least 21 years, I'm going to say going back to 1999, uh, most comic books have been the magazine type paper. Right, I mean, this type of paper has become the standard. Obviously, reasoning behind this is mostly due to the way that modern comic book art is designed. It allows the colors of the books to pop. Now, to give you guys an example, I'm going to pull open a book from the 1970s, which we most of us know. The paper used back then was basically a standard newspaper print, okay? So, you know, you had your newspaper prints, right? And uh, these newspaper prints, it was... Obviously, they, they, they become off-white over time. But even brand new books tend to not be a bright white. Especially some of the older books, you know. I think later in the in, in the in the 80s, like in the late 80s, early 90s, uh, some more books. I know um, the uh, some of the, the the Disney books had that real bright white newspaper paper. But usually, when they did that, oh, DC did it as well with the like the Teen Titans run, the new Teen Titans run, the uh, the Wolfman run. Uh, but usually, you saw that the cover price of those books was actually higher than the standard books so but we know that printing back then was done a lot differently now i don't know the science off the top of my head but they used uh what they call a cm cmy cmyk uh where you know you, it, it was like ink dots and through the the different color ink dots you would blend and you can actually see the pat the the the, the pixelating of, of of the dots of how the ink would print on the paper on in the newspaper print. So that's why, you know, you, you open a new book and obviously I love old books. Don't get me wrong. I love them. I love the feel. I love the whole vibe, but the texture tends to be, or excuse me, the color tends to be drowned out because of the quality. And you get kind of a monotone uh, quality here. You don't get any colors that are extremely bright and poignant and popping off the pages. Um, you know, let's see, even if we have some, some bright, uh, some more bright colors, like, you know, it's, it, it all had kind of a dinge to it. And like I said, I, I'm totally cool with that, but believe me, modern book, I'm an artist. I am an artist. And what we could do with modern books, how we can see that the, the contrast and the light and darks, the glowing of C-3PO's eyes, um, you know, the way we print is different. The way we create the art is different because we we use you know Photoshop programs now uh, and software, um, and it just it really brings the comic books to life. So I love this as well. Believe me, I, I do. And you know, while we're on it, you know, when I got you know I got out of comic books kind of in the later mid nineties, um, and then I got back into it around two thousand and five with the hype of uh, Civil War coming, and then when I started reading Civil War. Just how it was printed on the page and how, how it was brought to life was a big factor of what pulled me back in. But let me show you guys what DC is doing right now. And I'm going to use this uh, Batman book as an example. Batman 76 came out last year. Now, look at these colors. 
Look at this. I mean, look at that moon just glowing behind Catwoman and the reflection off of Catwoman, even the reflection on her face and her hair. The bright white in her, in her eyes. I mean, look at this right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Just amazing. Um, oh, look at this. Look at this. I mean, it's such it's such a dark panel or page in this case, but the bright reds and the 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 bright red of the blood and the uh, oh my yeah again even the highlights on the hair and the faces this is amazing. But guess what, guys? This is oh and look at this. This paper is not a magazine paper. It is a newspaper type page. Now it isn't the same quality as your stuff from the 60s, 70s, or 80s or whatnot. It actually is more like the bright white stuff that started coming about in the 80s that I was just talking about, early 90s. But even still, you could tell that it has the texture of a newspaper uh, page, but it also has some sort of coat on it, okay? But it's not fully gloss. It's kind of like, a, you know, if you do paint and there's a semi-gloss, you know, this kind of has a, a feel of a, of a matte with, with like a mix with a semi-gloss. So it's not full matte, but it's not full glossed uh, for all you painters out there. But look at this, guys. The same, we have the, my point here is, what would you rather have these days? Because we have the technology to take newspaper pages and make it just as vibrant as your magazine pages. And let me tell you something, guys. Let me tell you something. This is the magazine. I like the feel of the newspaper print. It's very nostalgic to me. It, it brings me back to reading books like that I read in, uh, from my youth. So a lot of us older heads, you know, uh, can relate to just the nostalgic idea, the nostalgic feeling of having that book in your hands, flipping the pages and having that certain texture. And I know a lot of us comic book collectors are very, very uh, nostalgic. We are very sentimental and we are very, very particular and peculiar about these details, right? It matters to us. So, and another thing for those that press out there, pressing modern books is, modern books are more vulnerable to the heat, okay? Now, I, I've said this before in my videos, but I have a press that is low quality. I mean, it gets the do job done and it's broken right now and I'm still utilizing it, believe it or not. But the heat is inconsistent and I can leave a older book with newspaper print pages in there with the, the heat on literally for like a half hour. And that's how I maximize my, uh, my press by leaving. And then I'll leave it on, on a cool press for at least 12 hours. I cannot have that, the heat, even in my low quality, inconsistent press, I cannot have heat on a modern book with magazine pages for more than like 60 seconds. I can't. Um, what happens is the pages will stick together easily. And if the pages stick together even slightly, it's going to pull the ink off of it. It's going to pull the ink and the ink's going to get stuck on whatever page it's stuck to. Or if you put a backing board in the middle or a, a, a heavyweight, you know, like a, a you know, 90 or 120 pound uh, uh, art paper that I use for in, in between my cover, it, it could get stuck to that and the ink will peel off and, and get stuck onto that. So these books, these modern books with magazine pages are extremely vulnerable to, uh, to pressing. So to wrap, to, to, to come to my conclusion of this comparison video is that I, I want to give a big shout out to DC, okay? And what DC is doing, because for me, I am a fan. I, you know, honestly, I'm I'm thinking that the the, the and maybe it's just the particular artist and the and the coloring done on this particular book. But man, I would love to see what this Darth Vader book that I've been showing off here would look like on this kind of paper. I love it. I love it. It is a modernized. It is a modernized newspaper print. So I have not yet pressed uh, a book like this, but I'm going to assume just because of the matte texture, it's not going to be as vulnerable to the heat. And uh, I am all for all of our modern books to be printed on this type of paper.
So that's that's what I'm calling a petition for Marvel to uh, follow suit, get on board, <laughs> and uh, spread the word, guys. I don't know, you know. Hey, again, this is this is my perspective. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, have you experienced some of these more modern newspaper type uh, pages in these books? Uh, do you like flipping through them? Do you like the way the color pops in them? Or do you enjoy the, the modern magazine print that, that we've been, you know, uh, that's been standard now for, for a couple decades? Uh, or do you still enjoy the monotone, diluted, foggy, classic old ink on the dirty old off-white newsprint paper of the good old days? <laughs> All right, guys, let me know what you guys think below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Again, a reminder, my 1500 subscriber contest is uh, going hard and going strong. So check that video out. Go find that video on my channel. Make a video. Have a chance to uh, enter and win some awesome prizes. Thank you for watching. Until next time.